Kung Fu, the next generation. Come on, give him more. David Darlow and Brandon Lee star as descendants of the David Carradine character from the original TV series. Oh, interesting. Absolutely. I think you're going to enjoy it. Kung Fu, the next generation. Ooh, well done, Grasshopper. A century ago, my great-grandfather came from China to America. His name was Kwai Chang Kane. He was a Shaolin priest, a philosopher, and a Kung Fu master. Kwai Chang made his way across the West, sharing his wisdom and inner strength with those in need. He passed his teachings to his son and down through the generations to me. I have followed the traditions of my family, defending honest people from those who would prey upon them. But this world is harder and more complex than that of my ancestors. And now, I too have a son. problem. Right. No, no, you, you, you're absolutely right. I mean, you're clean. Levin doesn't even know your name. I'm the boy who makes the drops. I always hold up my hand. Hey, I don't know you a thing. When you came back to town, I gave you money. I gave you a job and a place to live. My place. Remember? But you don't know me. I swear to God, this is the last time. Did I ever say you're my hero? Okay. Okay. Just don't get nervous. Max! I don't want anyone hurt. Just walk away. You punk.
an arrest. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to legal counsel. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Okay, kid. You got a name? Kane. Kwai Chang Kane. Eugene Buckley. Listen, uh, I hear you fix things. Come in. No locks? No need. You just move in? Please sit down. Thank you. Tea? Uh, no, thanks. Let me get right to the point. I own this rental unit over on Normandy. There's this deadbeat in 407. He stiffed me. Three months rent. Well, if he needs work... Worth I'm... nothing. I want you to throw this freeloader out. Well, you know... Chop sack. <laughs> I'm afraid you've been misinformed, Mr. Buckley. Here's a hundred now, and another hundred later. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Hello? Hello, Kane. Lois Poole. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but we arrested your son, Johnny, last night. He's been charged with burglary. Can you get down here right away? Thank you for calling, Lois. I'll be right down. I really appreciate this, Lois. Oh. Well, I had to bend the DA a little, but seeing what you do for the neighborhood. Come on. You read the report? I just can't understand why he would do this. How I failed him. Look, believe me, it happens to the best of us. How long has it been since the two of you have seen one another? Over a year. I didn't even know he was back in L.A. Well, listen. Maybe after you two spend a little time together. Maybe. Okay, now here's how it works. I'm releasing him in your custody pending trial. There was another boy involved, but Johnny would talk. Honor among thieves. Yeah. Kane, it doesn't stop with your son. There's somebody out there using these kids, and we want to put them away. So whatever you can get out of Johnny. I can get nothing he doesn't wish to give. But I'll try to show him the path. I understand. do my time. I mean, you're not even responsible for me anymore, all right? I don't even have... You're coming home, son.
There's only one person who can stop him. The bail I put up, you'll repay. What you stole from those houses, somehow you'll replace. But you also took something from me. Are you listening, Kuai Chang? Oh, do I get to talk now? Of course. Okay, then, first of all, please don't call me that. You're Kuai Chang. Grandfather's Kuai Chang. Everyone in our family's Kuai Chang. Are you ashamed of your family? I'm not you. Look, just call me Johnny, all right? I can see we have a long way to go. Yeah, we got about two miles to go because you won't drive. Hey, Kuai Chang. How are you? Hello, Sid. Hey, this your boy? Been a long time. Keeping busy? Very. Oh, those herbs or roots, whatever. They did the job. The wife's fine. No more headaches. Right from the up. Thank you, Sid. When I walk, I see my friends. No, I'm not hungry. Why are you protecting this man you work for? Are you kidding? What do you think would happen if I talked? Justice. Dad, I live on these streets, not on some other planet like you do. Oh, what the hell do you mean? I know this. A truthful man fears nothing. Listen, Dad, I know I've done some stupid things in my life, all right? But back there, you said I stole from you. When? You took the knowledge and training I gave you and used it for evil. Can you deny it? No. To settle your debt with me, you must be purified. There's always jail. Well, if you're taking me back to the monastery, I'm going to need my clothes and the rest of my stuff. Yes, we'll have to remedy that. Geez, Dad. When do you eat meat? Please. Good morning, Ellen. Oh, Mr. Kane. I know I missed my lesson on Tuesday, but I'm a little low on cash right now. And Pay me when you can. Your training shouldn't be interrupted. Thank you. Hello. My name's Johnny. Very nice to meet you. Hi. Is your father around? I'd like to ask him a favor. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> we should have rented a truck. All my stuff's gonna smell like raw meat. What's wrong? Crime pays. Come on, let's get your things. me teach class at night. I fixed it up for you. Yeah, you fixed it all right.
There's nothing in here. I might as well be in jail. This door has no lock. Where are my good clothes? That's all you need for now. There's no phone. There's no television. Can I get some music at least? In a drawer. I don't want this. Have some respect. This belonged to you. I know whose it was. Look, Dad, it's all right for you to be him if that's what you want, all right? But it's never been for me. You wanted perfection, and look what you got. Don't blame your failures on others. Maybe it's not just my failure. Maybe things got like this because... because I can't be your ideal. personal delivery and you tell me to get lost? Hey, you got no complaints. I saved your butt, remember? Johnny, I, I didn't mean to stick you, but I got scared. Yeah, well, I got a record. And now my old man's ragging my... Oh, I know, I know, I know. Look, I owe you. And I'll make it up to you, I promise. It's like a cell in here. Where's all your stuff? It's gone, man. Well, here, take this. You got tunes. I think it's yours anyway. You know, one day your face is gonna freeze like that. Johnny. <laughs> Listen, what you were saying before about retiring, I think it's the right thing. Really, maybe right for me too. I mean, we could have got killed the other night. The only problem is, see, I, I owe a lot of money. No, no, listen to me. Just one more big job and that's it. No way. Johnny, I didn't want to ask you, but you gotta help me out. You owe money? Here. Why don't you pay your bills? Fine. Just... Just sit in your little white room and contemplate the universe. Go ahead. Ah, man, wait a minute. You wait a minute. I don't need you for protection, Johnny. I got another friend that's a whole lot easier to get along with.
morning, class. Ellen, please. Why does the way of the Shaolin imitate God's creatures? To reach development of the mind through the discipline of the body. Very good. We will begin with the crane, which teaches us grace and self-control. Excellent. From the snake, we learn suppleness and rhythmic endurance. Remember to keep the transition smooth. Rhythm is everything. The eagle displays a duality of hard and soft. Tenacity and power, the way of the tiger. And in time, you will learn from the dragon to ride the wind. Master Kane, do you think that I'll ever be as good as you? <laughs> you can spend a lifetime perfecting one system. So which one have you mastered? All of them, right, Dad? Some of you haven't met my son. His name is... Johnny. Join us, please. Sure, why not? This is a fighting stick used in the art of Walum. You can easily kill a man with this, but you will learn to defend, avoid, and disarm. If you'd rather not, is in the staff itself, cut from the oak. Which part of the tree is stronger? The branch, twisting wildly in the wind, or the trunk, rooted squarely in the earth? Think it over. You're better than that. You didn't have to dump me in front of everybody. Your own anger betrayed you, not me. If I've been hard on you, it's only because... You're all I've got.
get dressed. I'd like to take you somewhere. In the middle of the night? It's a long ride. father lived. himself? Yes. It's the only home he ever really had. He wandered many years until the day that he stopped here. It was difficult at first, what with his Chinese blood, but slowly the people of this town came to know him and respect him and love him. Yeah, I know, Dad. I've heard the story before. He was a local wise man of the town helping all the people out. Well, you haven't heard the story here. I suppose I'm just like any other father. I want my son to continue the family business. But I know now that it must be your own choice. Your ancestor, his spirit is touching you.
wife went to fetch the doctor. When she returned, Kwai Chang was gone. Where did he go? No one really knows. Something to drink? Yeah. Thanks. Johnny, I'm in. That's great. But I gotta meet the fence myself. Uh, I don't know. Look, I want my own partnership with Levin. Why should I set you up? I mean, I got enough competition as it is. Look, that's the deal. Hey, how's it going, dude? Hey, I've heard all about you. What's not just? There's a kid. They were a crew. Rob is very tough and very stupid. Isn't that right, Rob? Totally, dude. So where'd you get this truck, huh? Levin, where else? You're gonna like this job, Johnny. It's very Jesse James. Find the crates marked with red chalk and leave the rest. That's them. Let's move it. I want to be here when the next train comes. Come on! You didn't tell me it was guns? Listen, I got a friend who works at the San Bradu Freight Yard. He bags the crates from another train. We pick them up in the middle of nowhere, and everybody's clean. Okay? Okay. Listen, one of the crates going 11. Tomorrow. Yeah, he wasn't too thrilled about you coming in. I want you to know. Hey, Nick, we got a deal. I know we got a deal. Let's go.
Yeah. Guess I was tired last night. You went out at midnight. I thought my door had no lock. That's right. I promised to help a man in the valley translate some old Chinese letters. I'll be back tonight. Okay, see you later. Do this. Eleven might be a little bit. Let's go. Who is it? It's Mick. I told you the boss doesn't trust anybody, not even his friends. under the tarp. We say, Darnell. How's it going, Mick? Eleven inside? Where else would he be? Let's go, Johnny. this stuff, Levins? Organization's a lot bigger than you thought. Raul, Dave. How's it going? Johnny. Hey. He's in here. So you're Levin? Yeah. Hey, just call me Kyle. Johnny here wants to be your partner. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? One computer, one database, one account. <laughs> What's going on? Let's go get some coffee, Carl. Uh, well, uh, there's no coffee, man. Then drink water from a hose outside. Well, yeah, I mean, you could have told me, Mick. But hey, this is great. I mean, now we can be partners. Can I ask you a question? Do you think I'm stupid? First you want out, then you get busted. Now you want in again and you're talking partners. Uh huh. It smells like cops to me. Hey, Mick, I swear. Gentlemen! Careful, Johnny. Your kung fu ain't gonna stop a bullet, you know what I mean? Go ahead, Raul. I really hope I'm wrong about you. Pass you out of here. 
Now move it! A word of advice. Always yield to a greater force. Is that right? Welcome to the family business. Listen, I probably saved your life. What's wrong with you? You should have trusted me, that's all. I always believed you'd do the right thing. Okay, then why did you follow me? I thought you might need help. Johnny, if you testify against Mick, there's a damn good chance the DA will reduce the charges. Maybe drop them all together. Great. I'll work on it. Look, if you trusted me, we could have planned together. There is no greater misery than misjudging the foe. That's from Lao Tzu. Yeah, well, I am what I am, and that's all that I am. And that's from Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> Okay, son. If you trust me, I'll trust you. It's a good place to start. They know that. And it's time for those phone numbers. Remember, vote early and often. No Daphne, no. That's Chicago. Just kidding, Chicago. But seriously, vote once. If you like Kung Fu the Next Generation, call 1-900-220-2311. If you didn't like Kung Fu the Next Generation, call 
620-220-2322. Lines will remain open for the next two hours. And remember, you will be charged 50 cents for your call, of which CBS's proceeds will be donated to charity. So get involved in the process. Let CBS know what you think. And join us again next week at this time when we'll take a look at a couple of half-hour comedies on... Oh, uh, the CBS Summer Playhouse. Next week, Valerie Perrine and Brenda Vaccaro star as housewives trying to make it in the fashion industry on changing patterns. Then an ex-CIA agent can't even convince his bride he's no longer a spy on Mickey and Nora. Two new comedies next week on CBS Summer Playhouse.